everybody, Brad here with GeoArm Security again. Today we're going to show you how to wire the transformer into the L5200 system, one of the latest and greatest from Honeywell. Alright, so I'm going to go over again the quick uh, you know, tools that we'll need today. We'll need, the, of course, the Honeywell L5200 transformer, which comes with it. We'll need the panel itself, 22 gauge wire, uh, cut to the length that you may need, and last but not least, a flathead screwdriver. All right, so the first step is I'm going to go ahead and get this panel open. I'm going to turn it on its side, take the flathead screwdriver. You'll see uh, this 5200, they have it a little bit different than the previous models in case you're upgrading. All right, so you go ahead and depress the tab, which should pop it open, and you go ahead and depress the other tab, which should get it open. All right, now especially with the 5200 system, you want to be very careful laying it down. You don't want to damage that touchscreen display now, 4.7 inches. All right, and again, I'm going to go through uh, some quick tips here. Uh, you may have seen these in the previous models. All right, the way I have these, uh, the, the 22 gauge by 2 wire set up or prepared is separate on each end. So this end is going to be the, the end that goes into uh, or goes behind the actual uh, mounting plate for the 5200. The other end is going to be for the transformer. So we'll go ahead and talk about the transformer end first. So you want to go ahead and loosen up these ends on the actual transformer itself. Them itself. Go ahead and loosen those up. All right, now one of the most important things about this system compared to some of the other systems that we've done is this system uses DC, not AC, meaning there is polarity. So be very careful because you can short your panel out. So we begin. Uh, on the transformer, you can see that it's actually labeled plus over here and minus over here, right over there. All right. So that means when you expose the copper wires, you'll see there's a red and a black. So we're going to go ahead and start with the black. Get that one put in there first, all right? And quickly, you'll see uh, I have these hooked. It'll make your life a lot easier, and it's safer, again, since it's DC. You don't want any copper exposed. So you go ahead and hook that right around the back. All right, get in there for you. And you just screw that right in, making sure no copper is exposed. Very important. And then you're going to take the other end, the red wire, Put that into the positive area. All right, just screw that in. Make sure no copper is exposed. All right, beautiful. That looks good. Give it a nice little tug. No copper exposed. You're good on that end. All right, so now the next end is going to be wired directly into the panel itself. So there is a little technique in a little area I like to do this. If you can see right here, You'll see right there. That's where I like to wire it through. All right. Once you have it wired through, not too much, just enough so that it can get to the back of the panel. All right. And again, there is polarity on this 5200 system. So if you look very closely, let me see if you can see that. Right, let me get right here. These two. Are the zones you're going or the uh, terminals you'll be working with? You'll see the one all the way at the end right here is labeled 9 VDC. So that's going to be where your red wire goes, and GND, which stands for ground, that is where your black wire will be going. All right. So we already have it ran through the back, so this should be very simple. All right. Just make sure this. All right, perfect. So we're going to go ahead and start with the black wire. We want to do the ground first, make sure it's grounded. All right, screw that in there. Not too, not too hard because it is a metal screw going into a plastic terminal. And now we're going to go ahead and get the red in there. Biggest tip here, make sure that no copper is touching or even exposed because, you know, don't want to short your panel out. I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. So now you can see there's no copper exposed. 
and they are wired into their proper terminals. 9VDC red, GND will be black. All right, so I'm pull that excess wire out. All right, and you can go ahead and seal up the 5200 system. All right, so that is how you wire in the transformer if you need a, a certain amount of distance between the outlet, maybe if you're gonna hardwire the system through your walls. Uh, comes with the transformer. You just need to go to your local hardware store and pick up some 22 by 2 wire. All right, and just so you know, there also is an alternative if you didn't want to do that. We also have a K0991 device, um, which you can actually wire into. Uh, it'll basically just plug right in. Let me get in there so I can show you the terminal. If you look right here, this is where the K0911, K0991, excuse me, will go right in there. And this is about a six and a half foot cord. So this will plug directly into your wall. Uh, it's usually used with the desk mount. Uh, if you're interested in the desk mount, you can also find that on our site. All right, so that's it for today. Uh, my name is Brad with GeoArm Security.